professional awards on the ICGB where we are now. Uh, actually, we are in the Area Science Park and very close to here, the uh, ICGB headquarter is located. ICGB stands for the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology. And as you can see here, thank you. Um, the institute is composed by three major uh, components, so physical buildings where we do research. Uh, the headquarters is here in Trieste in Italy, and then we have New Delhi uh, in India, and uh, there are uh, uh, speakers uh, and participants coming from the ICGB New Delhi, Tanushri from the first session, um, uh, will we'll show you what we do there. And then there is a third component in South Africa, in Cape Town. And the ICGB is composed by a network of more than 80 signatory countries and more than 60 member states that are spread all over the world. Um, and this uh, part of the world is partially overlapping with the region that Madalena showed you before. And this is why we want to synergize to reach these countries and actually help uh, these countries to have access uh, to, to the technology. Because the mandate of the ICGB is to promote the use of biotechnology for global development in various sectors, as you can see here. And actually, this uh, institute uh, has been uh, created uh, um, as an appendix of uh, uh, UNIDO, so it was uh, uh, created under the aegis of this uh, large UN system, and then uh, began its activity in 1987. And uh, the mandate uh, from that time, but it's still valid, is indeed uh, to uh, promote the use of uh, biotechnology and technology of transferring life science uh, to promote a sustainable global development. So the use of genome editing is a hot topic in this scenario, and this is why we are here today. What we do to support the use of biotechnology in, in, a, in a sustainable manner, um, uh, we are the only intergovernmental organization that actually perform research activities in our laboratory. So we are essentially scientists and there are a few uh, colleagues of mine who will uh, help you in following both of the research uh, uh, thematics. You will hear a presentation from, uh, from Andres uh, and also uh, will assist you in the practical part uh, for those who will have the chance to uh, participate to the second part of the workshop. Then we provide fellowships for um, uh, researchers, either PhD students or postdoctoral fellows to come from our countries, member states, uh, to join the main uh, components, be trained at high level, and then we try to help these people to go back to their country and implement their own research there. We organize meetings, courses and workshops and this is a, one of the examples of the workshop that we can organize but we are willing also to export uh, the, the format to our country. So this is something we can uh, discuss during the meeting and after the meeting because the way we could help in training and the technology is by recruiting people here to attend the courses, but also to come to your countries and, and try to build something together there. And then we uh, offer um, uh, grants for scientists in the member states that uh, are supposed to be collaborative grants, so putting, again, energies and uh, resources together from different countries to perform uh, state-of-the-art research. And then we have an activity of uh, technology transfer to produce biotherapeutics, in particular biosimilar, and export the technology to our member states. This is the scientific part. As you can see, we have research groups uh, that cover more or less uh, all the life sciences sector from infectious diseases, non-communicable diseases, uh, and, and you can see here some of the people that you will see around in person. Uh, medical biotechnology, as I mentioned, uh, biosimilars, but also diagnostics and vaccine, industrial biotechnology, biofuels, and plant biology and, and, and biotechnology. Um, uh, these are the kind of uh, uh, calls for fellowships that you can see on, on our website. And this is the amount and, and, and kind of meetings and courses that, as I mentioned, we organize worldwide. So some of them are here or in Delhi or in Cape Town. And together with Marcello Raspa, who is uh, one of the speakers, we are 
uh, trying to organize the next practical workshop in, in South Africa to, to promote the use of genome editing to generate animal models of diseases. And, and, uh, and then there are uh, meetings all over the world. As I mentioned, we offer a collaborative research uh, um, uh, projects or so small grants to perform uh, activities in collaboration between different countries, and this is the numbers of grants that we can provide per year, more or less. Uh, and then I mentioned, yes, R&D collaborations that like transfer to export, for instance, the technology to produce uh, uh, biological drugs, like biosimilars, uh, offering access to the technology to companies that can export the model and then uh, um, implement the research and development activity there. All this is available on platforms uh, for uh, uh, public outreach. You can um, go to our website and have a look uh, at the scientific collections of uh, seminars, lessons, probably for the, those speakers that, uh, who agrees on that. We will also, we are um, uh, recording the presentations and, and the movies so you will have uh, access to what's happening here. Um, also uh, on remote, and we, we try to uh, disseminate the knowledge and, and the scientific contact also to the lay public. So we periodically organize a, a public event to disseminate science, uh, hosting uh, young uh, people and also old people, all generations, uh, that they, they can come to the laboratories and, and really touch with their hands. Um, the way we, we do science. How we are governed, we have a board of governors that includes uh, a representative for the government of every country that is part of the ICGB, and these people meet every year, and they collectively decide uh, whether ICGB is performing well, where we should go, and, and try to get some directions on where we need, we need to go. And, and I can confirm that uh, genome editing and the way it is regulated and perceived is also foreseen by the uh, Board of Governors as one of the topics that are prioritized for the next year. We also have a Council of Scientific Advisors. Uh, we, as scientists that work at the ICGB, are routinely uh, scrutinized for our performance. And in this uh, uh, group of uh, big scientists, uh, there are a few Nobel Prizes that serve as uh, scientific advisors for the ICGB, routinely come and visit the labs and uh, guarantee that the work uh, perform is of quality enough to be offered then to, to the member states. Um, more or less what I told you, you can find it in, in our website, but also in our annual report. If you are curious, I think we can provide some copies of, of, the, of it. And among the research activities is genome editing various groups in the, in the labs here in Trieste, but also in Delhi and also in Cape Town are using this technology to manipulate the genomes of bacteria, plants, animals, and human cells. And Andres will give you an overview of what we do scientifically. But as I mentioned, we, as an international organization, we are part of uh, intergovernmental committees that um, try to homogenize the way technologies are regulated and implemented in the various countries. And so we are part of this committee of bioethics that tries to highlight the bioethical aspects connected to genome editing. And we are working together with the other international organizations like UNESCO, WHO, FAO, and so on. Uh, and, and in this context, we have been asked, as we are the only international organization that actually perform research and, and know exactly what means performing the experiments, to provide some uh, webinars uh, and interviews that we render publicly available on the website on, on this technology. So this is, uh, again, you can recognize myself, Andres, and Tanushri, and you will have uh, the chance to meet these persons more over the following um, uh, days. Um, and this is why, as Madalena mentioned, we decided to put our forces together to organize some workshop on genome editing, first in 2016, 
and now we are here for this second event uh, and we are very happy to have you all here. Let me just finish by um, acknowledging and thanking all the people who contributed to make this event possible. So our meeting office, Elisabetta, Chiara and Roberta, who have worked very hard to get all people from all over the world and on time with short notice, uh, visa and, and so on. Uh, Suzanne, Marella and Diego, who has helped with all the um, uh, agendas and uh, website and technical assistance and also Wendy was help us in uh, assembling the program and get the contact with the plant uh, at cost action who supported us economically and also providing very good speakers who will also uh, present their activities and so you will have the chance to know them and a few people from the ICGB Trieste who has also helped us in assessing particularly the practical part who has been coordinated by Andres and you will meet these guys because they will uh, help you in, in all the practical part and following the experiment. So it has been very fun, uh, but also a challenge to assemble uh, a, 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 experiments that are not real of course because we cannot perform the whole experiment but try to uh, create something that gives you a flavor of what the real experiment is and allowing to skip some parts to fit everything in in two days so i hope you will uh, enjoy um, both the, the the first two days uh, and ac um, according to this, you know that most of you have filled a questionnaires that we have distributed in advance, and we are very grateful for your active participation. We have collected over 100 responses. So Madalena did a wonderful job, tried to gather all the information together, and during our conclusions, we will have a common discussion on what the conclusions could be from these questionnaires and what we can build uh, on that. And just a few technical uh, issues. Uh, I think some of you still have to uh, hold their posters, so there is the space and uh, please do that. Uh, about the, the bus to go back to the city, uh, there will be the bus waiting for you at the end of the workshop tonight, so don't be worried, you won't miss it, but don't go around because it will uh, leave uh, immediately after the end of the last session. And, and tomorrow you will have the pick up at 8.30 as, as in the program. And so I think with that, I can, uh, I can stop. Uh, thank you very much and I hope you'll have fun. And with that, 